Here we are, Highlands Trail, going on a hike. I should be walking about 14 kilometers today. We got my main man Kier on this trip. No kids, first adult trip of the of the year. Uh, yeah, should be a good time. We got a lot of walking to do today, and uh, yeah, follow along. Look at that. Broke off from there, right in the middle of the trail. That's my number one fear right there. That's my number one fear. That would have ended that hiker's day. You have to walk with me. I'm not gonna hold your hand. <laughs> So, uh, we're just walking along the path and I saw this happening. This is a fire pit. I think this is like an unofficial uh, rest stop camp spot. And uh, someone left a fire small there. There's no one around. So, uh, I think I'm just gonna, there's a river down here. I'm gonna pour my water out on it. stick you were just using mixing it up. Yeah, so pretty happy that we got that fire out. Guys, you know, I think the outdoors is for everybody, but uh, come on, put your fires out. How hard is it? You're next to a raging river. It's just uh, sheer laziness. Uh, it doesn't take much to make sure a fire's out. Um, I see it too often. And uh, anyway, blah, blah, blah. On we go! Uh, we're just taking a break. This is a spot on the map for a lookout. Uh, yeah, nice view. Just gonna take a minute. There's some people on the trail that 
uh, we'll just like walk ahead. They're they're walking pretty fast anyway, but whatever. Just let them go their way. So it's two thirty now. I guess we started walking at around nine a.m. It's two thirty now, and we have uh, only about two hours of two two and a half hours of sunlight left. So I put the cameras away and just started crushing some distance. Now, a group passed us, as we told you, and there's another group behind us. So we're just trying to, we're just trying to heave ho some distance to get to this lake so that we have some time to set up camp, get some firewood so that we can have some camp time. All right, so we got about an hour of light left. So we just rolled up on this site and instead of walking to the next site, we're just going to we're just going to make do with this. Uh it's unfortunately it's pretty close to the trail. But it's not too too bad. I don't I'm not expecting anyone else to walk through here, so it should be fine. There's the fire pit. We got a bit benches. There's lots of wood back there to cut up, so firewood shouldn't be an issue. We don't have the greatest view of the lake, but, uh, you know, sometimes you just got to make do with what you got, right? It's not all about the view, and it's going to be dark in an hour anyway. We won't be able to see anything. So, yeah, this is what we're going to call home for the night. So we're just uh, going to set up some stuff and blah 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 and yiggity 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 blay i'm tired i've been walking all day okay time to set up camp yeah so i think i'm going to set up my tarp right here it's a nice flat area the wind's coming off the lake this way so i'm going to put the back of the 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 tarp this way and i'm going to use my trekking poles instead of trying to tie out to two trees i'm just going to use my trekking poles and uh, yeah, see how that works out. Or I might tie out to two trees. What do you think is easier? Uh, you know what? I'm going to tie out to two trees. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do. There's two trees here. Yeah, I think it'll be easier to tie off to the two trees. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, so I just brought my uh, poncho tarp to sleep under tonight. I got my my uh, my uh, Gore-Tex bivy, so I'm not too too worried. This is just to you know, 
whatever. Just a little bit of protection from whatever might fall from the sky tonight. I'm kind of out of frame, huh? Is that better? Yeah, so just tied a ridge, uh, taut line, ridge, ridge, taut line, taut, you know what I'm trying to say, English. And uh, yeah, I'll just use a couple of Prusik knots to, uh, to uh, straighten this out. A couple of toggles, boom, right. Bob's your uncle. So I need to cut a couple of lengths of paracord. The amazing Prusik knot. I think this is a really bad setup, actually. Uh, I'm gonna be. Yeah, this doesn't make sense. I've just set it up so that I have to sleep on this stub. So that's stupid. So, is there somewhere else I can put it? I could tie it off to that tree, but I don't have a long enough rope for that one. Hmm. Interesting, what I've just done to myself. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to figure out a different place to put this ridge line, but I'm going to put this Prusik knot up anyway, because I still need to use it. Oops. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now where else can I put this ridge line? So the, uh, I was wrong, this, this will uh, reach to this birch tree. Sweet. So, one, two. I have a much bigger area to play with to set up to sleep. So I think right here is a good flat. Maybe here. Yeah, I think that's good. Cool. The question is. Let's go through. Oh, I can use this. Instead of cutting toggles, I'm just using a couple of tent pegs that uh, Kier lent me. I forgot my tent stakes, and I just don't feel like wasting time chopping them up. I think it's not that big of a deal, but he has them, so I'm just... There, my friends, you have it. Nice. Uh. 
Does anybody know what this rope is for on my on my uh, poncho tarp? Is it to tie around my waist so that it doesn't flap around? I don't know. If you know, let me know in the comments. If you know what this rope is for this shoestring, it's just a shoestring. I don't know. Oh. Bummer, is that a hole? No, that's just some sap. Okay, cool. Time to do some other camp chores. Yeah, I don't know. It's brighter in the camera than it is uh, out here, but the sun must be down. It's gonna be dark any second. I stopped filming because we needed to quickly grab some wood. So I found some branches, some big branches. I don't know if the camera picks it up or not. Anyway, we have enough wood for tonight to enjoy. I'm just gonna fill up my pots with water and we're gonna get dinner going. Kier's on the fire duty. So yeah, you didn't miss much. You just missed me swearing. And uh, oh, see, the thing's having a hard time trying to focus on me because it's, uh, it's so dark out. Anyway, gonna get water and uh, <sighs> tired. What do you got? Pasta Primavera. You want a sausage with it? I got two. I probably eat a couple bites of sausage. Don't... Okay. He's right across the street from uh, the beer store on Logan and Gerard. I know where that is. But there's no beer store there anymore. Oh, really? Close? Yeah. They, yeah, they tore it down. They put in a condo. But now what they're doing... Oh, right, yeah. But now what they're doing is they're putting beer stores in the base of all the condos. So all the beer stores? Oh, they just got shut down, but... They're building a condo and then the store it. underneath, exactly. So, win-win. Hey guys, it's uh, I have no idea what time it is. I think it's still pretty early, but after today, I think we're just calling it a night. Cure's done. Yeah, it's quarter past eight. So, um, Oops, uh, oops, I can't get under here. Oh, shit. Yeah, as you can see, I still got to set up my bed. I got hiccups for some reason, I think. Out of nowhere, I start, started just getting the hiccups. I wasn't even eating or drinking anything. I was just standing there, and all of a sudden, I got the hiccups. Anyway, yeah, I still got to blow up my mattress and everything, and then throw it in the bivy. And then I'm just gonna read. Uh, I'm just gonna read on my iPhone for a bit. So yeah, you just missed uh, Kira and I just shooting the shark and sitting by the fire. But he's uh, we're we're both pretty tired from today's walk. So yeah, I just farted. We don't know where the toilet is either. So I gotta. I'm gonna have to poo soon. Maybe I can hold it till the morning. I don't know. Anyway, we'll catch up with you in the morning. Thanks for uh, following along this 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 far. Good morning, everybody. It's uh, six fifteen in the morning. It's still dark, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get out. I gotta go to the bathroom and whatever and. Whatever, might as well just get up and get a fire going, get breakfast going, and just start the day. I'm I'm awake, awake, you know? And, uh, yeah. I was pretty warm all night. Um, in fact, there was a point where I was almost too hot, and I, I had to unzip the... Sleepy bag for a bit. Hmm. Okay. I gotta go to the bathroom.
Sorry, I forgot to turn the mic on. So there's like some sizzly bacon sounds for you. I'm not going to take the bacon off and redo that scene. <laughs> Three, two, one, cut. Now we're having breakfast. Oh yeah, I didn't finish telling you. Did I finish? I didn't finish telling you. Oh, so I took when I was. Uh, oh, I'm not gonna talk about that right now. <laughs> this is where you can put the music over. Yeah, man, music on. This is what I. That, that's one skill that I haven't figured out yet. First of all, finding good free music. You have to have that generic fucking. Uh, you have to have that generic music, yeah. and the generic music that my um, that my uh, program comes with, like my editing software, sucks. Right? Like there, there's yeah. a bit of a music, but it's like obviously uh, done. You got some bullshit samples. It's yeah, it's, it it doesn't sound good, and it's hokey and whatever. So I've been doing a lot of research. Now there is a lot of. Um, like YouTube has a has a music library that you can go through with free royalty free music and then there's some websites where you can buy royalty free music and use it um, but yeah you gotta like you gotta find the right vibe you know what I mean yeah and then after the right vibe you gotta edit to the beat or else it just doesn't look good. You like okay, every time, every time you do a shift in the scene, you gotta you gotta do it to the beat of the music, or else it just it doesn't seem right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. How long do you want to hang out here for? Or do you want to get going right after breakfast? Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe. maybe. I mean, just a little digest, sip the coffee. Back up, go, yeah. <clears throat> and we're definitely going left. It's kidneys. Two of them. Yeah. Mmm. So I call this maybe like a 20% Lakeview? <laughs> Not less. 15? Yeah. I know it's there. I know it's quite beautiful. Yeah, if you walk down there, there's a bit of a rock you can stand on. I should go down there and just at least stand there for one minute. Have a good look. Mmm. Yeah, that group came by. I'm assuming it's just two people. What time? It was probably about an hour after we turned in. So like nine? Perhaps, yeah. Weird. And they had like a little bell on. They seemed to be totally rigged for night hiking. But at least they were efficient getting past us. They lit up my tent with the flashlight. With the headlamps. And... Um, they were relatively quick. They weren't like losing their way. I I, I thought for a second um, uh, that um, they were they needed a place to stay. So I was I was to starting up. to unzip and and waiting for them to say hello. Anyone? I'm gonna say hey. Um, if you like a slant a slanted slope. If, pitch wherever you can find around here. There's not too many spots. But well, that's what you would just do, right? Like, well, it's, uh, yeah. When it comes to hiking, whack. yeah. Stop wherever. But I didn't get the sense that they were. Uh, they got this. They were. They were hidden somewhere. Anyhow, I hope everything was okay. You know, maybe it was that one couple doing another lap. <laughs> The power walkers. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, food bag down here, too. Straighten. Always taking forever. Always. Look. I'm all packed up, neatly, ready to go. Someone's gotta be first. Yeah, he's still wearing his little... 
He's still wearing his bathroom slippers. I don't know if the GoPro is going to pick it up. Oh yeah, it kind of does. That's an old trail marker. I don't know. It's pretty high, like, and it's a trail marker. It's not a campsite marker. So now on this tree, there's a campsite marker right there. And up there is an old trail marker, wild. So I guess the trail used to come right through here. Well, obviously, I mean, thanks Sherlock. Thanks for all your hard investigative work. Kira is still slowly getting ready. Um, I think I could have been at my car by now. All right, we're finally on the go. Uh, the engines are slow to start. Uh, yeah, we should have a good walk out. At least we don't have to worry about we only have to worry about getting to the cars right so we don't have to worry about the sun all that much which is nice yesterday there was a bit of a panic that we wouldn't make it to a campsite before dark but it all worked out look at this boggy mess Ugh. Look at that. What even happened there? I don't understand. It's someone's bear bag. I guess they, I guess it got caught up there and they cut out their food from the bottom. I don't know. Look at the, the, ice. the way the ice. Yeah, the ice. I guess Long the ice froze. Twigs. No, I think it was underneath the ground. And then it froze and pushed up through the sand. Creep. Oh, I see. Wild. That's cool. Look at that. That'd be fun to do in a canoe. Oh, yeah. Someone else. <laughs> Someone else's canoe, yeah. Uh, so we've been walking for about an hour now. We're just taking a quick little break to hydrate and uh, whatever. This water is so cold. It's like those 7 Eleven slushies that when you get a brain freeze. Check this beaver dam out. And the beaver pond with. It's got to be recent, right, with the trees growing in it? Yeah. I don't know. At least maybe that high. Yeah, maybe. And it's starting to freeze over. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Mm -hmm. We made it back to the car. It's, uh, cars. It's, uh, 345. Sorry we didn't bring you along for very much. But, uh, we were just suffering. Um, and we just wanted to crush it. So that's what we did. I just put the camera away and bit down on the mouthpiece and uh, got back to the car. Anyway, now it's a long drive home. Thanks for joining me on this one and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.